Brian, congratulations. Off and running here at Alexandra Palace again. A relief man? Yeah, very much so. Um, that third set nearly killed me. I was 2 them up playing really well. Took out the 170. I didn't really need to. I just thought, I'll go for it, try and you know, get myself going. You know. I think, did I follow it with the 180 after that? I don't know, but yeah. I just thought, I need to grip my teeth and just finish this game off and then tune them up and lose the set 3 2. I'm thinking, what are you doing here? It's like my game against Michael Smith last year in the last 16. I was tuning up into those sets, lost them both 3 2. And um, I'm so happy that 66 at the end, double top straight in the middle as well. So lots relieved. Of, lots of missed doubles. You're a little bit frustrated that it was 3 2 because it could have been 3 0 in all honesty. Yeah, um, I, I can't, remember, can't remember the first set too much. It's only really the third set I remember when I was tuning up and I lost it. Um, I was 13 out of 50 or something on the doubles. That's, that's pathetic, really. But what percent is that? Do you know that off, off your head or not? About 23%. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I can tighten that up, my scoring's fine as long as if I get my first dart right, you know, I'm, I'm fine. But, you know, a lot of nerves because I'm not coming here with a huge amount of confidence. I mean, the last sort of three, four months, getting myself in a winning position and just throwing it away. And I thought I was going to do it again there, too. So, uh, you know, over the moon to get through. After such a good run here last year, has it been a really frustrating season that you haven't managed to take that momentum and form into the year? It has. I mean, um, I started the season really well, and then I was in for a shot with a match play, which is huge for me. I really wanted to qualify for that, and um, after I failed to qualify for that, I sort of around the summer holidays then, and I just put my darts down, spent the time, spent some holidays with my kids, didn't really touch the darts, and um, it's taken me a lot to get back to where I really want to be after having, you know, I was just throwing like 15 minutes a day, but you, know, you can't do that as a professional, you know, you know, that's pathetic, but I was so gutted with myself that I didn't qualify for the match play. Um, so it's coming back, I mean, my scoring's there, if I can get my first art right, I'm, you know, I'm following it really well, and sometimes it's 5-1 and then treble 20, and, you know, it's pathetic, just scans, scans all over the place, but if I can tighten up and tighten up my finishing, then um, I'll be dangerous for sure. It's a big year next year, isn't it, for yourself? Obviously, yeah. defending a lot of money yeah. on your world ranking and potentially your tour card could be at danger. So yeah. it's a massive run here, imperative to your season next year, perhaps. Um, it's kind of. I mean, you say I'm defending a lot. It's probably I'm defending about three grand up until August, probably. So <laughs> if I can, you know, make inroads there, then and qualify for this again, you know, it will go towards it. So um, I'm not really too worried about that. I know what I can do. I mean, I qualify for two euros all season, which is pathetic. That's really what cost me getting in the match play. Um, so that's going to be the main focus for next year. Call it getting in more euros, more big stage experience, and I'll just go from there. Really. You touched on obviously not qualifying for euros and missing out and not practicing enough. Was it a real penny drop moment? Then going, hang on a minute, I need to put this right. Yeah, it was. Um, people really didn't realise I was absolutely heartbroken not to get in the match play because I was. I was in there, I was like 12 out of 16 and I was quite comfortably in and then I'm in games and I'm like 5 all, and I'm thinking like come on win this and it's a bit of extra money towards the match play and I'm losing and it just built up and built up and just imploded really. Um, but I know what I can do, I've not finished, I know I've, I've not finished yet in the game, I've, I can play a lot better, I just need to sharpen up a bit and uh, I could, I could honestly think I can go on and win this. That's, you know, that's no joke. I'm not saying that, um, you know, without any meaning. Um, if I can just tighten up and uh, I can go on and win it, honestly, I think that. Was it nice to come back here after all the good memories of last year, arriving at Muswell Hill, driving up and thinking, hang on yeah. a minute, I belong here and yeah, I know I can play well on this stage? Yeah, it was nice. Um, considering I've had minimal big stage experience, um, I think I played all right last year. I mean, got to the last 16. Didn't play. I don't think I played particularly well to get there. To be honest, I was just a bit more tight. I don't think my scoring was particularly well, but I was finishing, finishing well. You know what I mean? Which is what I didn't do today. Um, Steve West is a great player. I've got next round. He's, I think he's probably one of the most underrated players on the tour. He's, you know, when he's on, he's phenomenal. Um, he absolutely smashed me at the UK Open this year as well. So I'm looking for revenge after that. Ryan, right, absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Phil. Just a couple from me. Yeah, sure. Um, I think the signs are really there. I mean, obviously your maxims were a big part of your game, mm. and the 170 as well. Are the signs there that your your old game's really coming back now? Yeah. Um, like I say, it's just I'm backstage and I'm hitting absolutely everything. Like I normally just play legs in my head when I'm backstage, just to keep myself sort of gauged to where I am. And 
think I hit about four ten darters and eleven darters, and I'm hitting absolutely, you know, absolutely everything. And I get on stage and I don't know whether it's a bit of nerves or just a lack of confidence and I'm hitting big ones and big fives, and I'm thinking, what is this? Because I've been so straight backstage, just all in in and around that trouble zone, absolutely smashing it. So yeah, you know, something that I need to try and figure out when it's going into the next game. I think it's maybe more of a case of just getting the experience up on that stage mm. and even just getting used to the environment a bit more. Yeah, I mean, this is only my second time here. Yeah. This is my third year on the tour, so you know, I'm very, I'm still pretty new to the whole thing. So you know, it's all just a learning experience at the moment. That's all for me, right? Cheers, mate.